Panzerkarte. In the blue square, we have the Fabulous Enigmas, submitted by Crazy Ninja 47 This team consists of six Wolverine Bees and three Aardvarks. And in the red square, we have the Corner Cutter, submitted by GXY. This team consists of four Flashlight Tanks, three Havoc Missile Tanks, and two Slug Tank Destroyers. on the battlefield and the stage is set let's get this fight underway in three two one go all right the corner cut is settling on the ground there goes the fabulous enigmas see right away that the uh, corner cutters take a little while to get off the uh, start line there not sure what's going on not really wanting to take off I'm not sure there go the uh, slugs the flashlights and the Havocs are firing, but they're not moving. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Crazy Ninja 47's team has already managed to lose one of their own. The Wolverines are kind of derping around there. Oop, losing my place there. Oh. Okay, a couple of the Wolverines got loose. The slugs are still advancing. There go the flashlights and Havoc missile tanks. And now the friendly collisions can begin. Boo! There's the first one, and <laughs> it's launched immediately. But the slugs are charging forward, taking the brunt of the damage from the enemy team. They can't really do anything about friendly collision, but they seem to be doing very well so far. Here, there's those uh, control blocks stopping them when the Wolverines get too close so they can reverse. Still aiming at the uh, Wolverine, still steering properly. Oh no, some missiles caught the backside of the shield of one of the slugs, but that, that cluster went right over the top. That's very good... Uh, good uh, missile arc right there. There's a Havoc and a uh, Flashlight are loose. The rest of them are back here. One of the Havocs is still in the back. I'm not sure what it's doing. The Flashlights are doing much better this time at not gliding with each other or with any of the other tanks that they did in the, uh, the first time we saw this team because they, uh, <laughs> the first time I think we had two or three despawn on the back of one of the slugs just ram into the back of them and explode. They're doing very well spreading out now. Maybe that delay at the beginning really helped. Oh no, but that, uh, that Havoc just hit its own Havoc. That's not good. These Wolverines are hanging in there pretty well. Not firing much, but uh, they're doing well. And aside from that one being despawned, and this one having its turret blown off by friendly fire, I presume. Oh no, that cram's going to end up lobbing right through. Oh no, it'll probably end up firing over. That one's lost its turret or its gun or both. This cram's doing okay, and this cram's doing okay. So we've got a couple of Wolverines still left. The Aardvarks are still alive and well. It's the cram cannons. These flashlights are just laying into these front Wolverines, but they're not doing much to them. Look at this. Oh, a flashlight despawns. Wow. These Wolverines have some tough armor. Oh, this one's getting wrecked. The guns, yeah, there it goes. The gun finally went. Looks like they're using frag rounds because that was a fragmentation explosion. This flashlight's about to tip itself over, trying to go in for the Wolverine. Is it going to get the ram? No, it looks like it's going to avoid that. It's going to slow down and back away, I think. There's some missiles streaking in. Looks like they missed their target, and the cram cannon fires. I don't think we've seen that fire yet. Oh, that's going to be a risky shot. It's coming in for the flashlight. No, it's going for the, uh, well, I think it was going for this uh, slug, which has gotten one of his flashlights stuck inside of its shield. And the flashlight is now firing through the shield and destroying the gun on the slug. You see right there, gun pieces showing where the flashlight's torn the gun out. So now it's pretty much combat in effect. All it can do is sit there and take shots until, uh, or it can it can absorb shots, but it can't give it can't dish out any. That flashlight needs to move. I don't know why it's stuck. The rest of them are moving fine, so it's not unless it's been damaged. Oh, here comes a collision. Fortunately, it was, it's with the turretless tank, so that's that's gonna save this Wolverine right here. Ooh, but it's gonna get shot in the back now by a flashlight tank, and that's not good. The flashlight's reloading, I think. I don't know. They may use—I I can't remember. I did an analysis video on them. They may use uh, belt-fed autoloaders. I can't remember. They're really going after these slugs. Ooh, they chipped an entire half of the shield off. Very nice. I don't think anyone's managed to do that kind of damage to a slug yet, aside from its own team. 
This battle is going everywhere. We're at 5 minutes and 45 seconds to go, and this is still going strong. I honestly did not think those Wolverines would last that long. Very, very good design here by both teams. Oh, just as I say that, another Wolverine goes up in flames. It looks like um, they have a weakness. I'm not sure where it is. But you hit him there, and you hit the ammo deposit, and it, it just it just kills the turret. The slug's not turning its side to this uh, this Wolverine, or both these Wolverines, back and sides. And the back and sides aren't the strongest part of the tank, usually, so it's not a good thing, I don't think. Yeah, you see their ammo ammo uh, clips and stuff are in the inside the tank itself, so if you, uh, if you manage to hit that with a kinetic shell especially, it'll go straight through and detonate it. The slug is doing a good job of absorbing shots like it's supposed to. There goes a despawned wolverine. Looks like this aardvark just tipped itself over. I don't know if it's still alive or not. Nope, AI dead. Okay, well it looks like the fight's kind of swinging towards the corner cutters now. But still, these uh, this fabulous Enigma team has given a good account of itself. Shearing an entire half of one of the slug shield off, dis uh, destroying a flashlight tank and really damaging some of these other tanks let's see there's a yeah there's another flashlight gone so that's two flashlight tanks down very impressive stuff right here the last team that fought these tanks uh, the corner cutters didn't do half as well if I remember correctly it's been a while so I may not remember correctly but I, I think they uh, I think it, part, part of it was the you know the damage on the side of the corner cutters was friendly uh, collision and friendly fire really took out some of their tanks, but in this case, that's not what's happening at all. It's the uh, fabulous Enigmas doing the damage. In fact, the uh, corner cutters did a good job of staying away from each other this time for the most part. Eh, <laughs> of course, I say that, and then boom, <laughs> a slug just just uh, cowabungas its poor uh, light light flashlight. Yeah, flashlight tank, and then the flashlight sh tank shoots the slug in the back, of course, <laughs> from the depths. Uh, this little aardvark's going in for the kill. Is it? No. Oh, it looks like the turret has lost its, uh, local weapon controller. That's the piece that connects it. No, it, no, it hasn't. The turret's still aiming. Okay, so the... I forget that crams aren't allowed to be on turrets. So it's still, it's still aiming. It's just trying to, uh, figure out what it's gonna do with itself. It's gotta get that cannon loaded and fired before, uh, something very untoward happens to it in the shape of a slug impacting its rear. But these things are pretty compact, and, uh, and collision, even without uh, rams on the front of the slug, I think collision with something that big could possibly destroy one of these little things. Are you going to fire? I think having to turn constantly is messing it up. It looks like it's using tank steering, though, because it's it's swiveling like that. Very interesting. Fire! Fire's a gun! Oh, jeez. Some good bounces off the front there. There's a railgun uh, shots coming in, and they're still occasionally bouncing off of this tank. That's very, very nice. Ooh. Near miss from some missiles. It looks like this is the only... No, it's not. It's not the only remaining member of the... Um, oh, what are they called? The Fabulous Enigmas. It, was, it soon will be, though. I think these uh, this flashlight and Havoc missile tank are ganging up on this one. It seems like it's, it's, it, it's lost most of its wheels... And with it, the ability to turn and actually aim at anything. So now it's just stuck here waiting to be despawned. Because uh, cram cannons cannot be on turrets, so... Yeah, that, that sucks. And this one, like I said, I think this one lost its gun. Or, yeah, you see right there, the uh, the gun, the actual gun piece... No, the mantlet was cut off. So that gun can no longer fire. So it's pretty much combat ineffective. And it looks like it's lost some uh, other important bits too. Oh no, the Havoc's going to uh, going to melee it with, with rockets. Oh, that is no bueno. Oh no. Oh! It didn't get the chance though. <laughs> Somebody found the ammunition. Oh. Oh, now it's gonna be, uh. Yep, that's AI dead for sure. There is now three Wolverines remaining, and that's it. And this Havoc's about to make it two Wolverines. Or it was gonna try. Oh no, collision. Boom! The lightly armored, uh, light tanks and Havoc. Oh, the Havoc. Yeah, the Havoc just got cored. <laughs> By its own tank, it got it got uh, it got wrecked. AI dead. <laughs> that collision just killed it. Uh, so so friendly collisions are doing still doing decent damage to the corner cutters, but for the most part, it seems like they have done their job. And the slugs go off together into the sunset. Their job here is done. I should disqualify them. I probably 
I won't because that's stupid at this point. They've won. Um, I don't know why they're running away, but I'm not going to penalize them for that. I think it's probably because the AI on all these tanks is dead. Nope, it's not. I don't know where they're going. Where y'all off to? Maybe their controllers were damaged. I don't know. They're trying to turn. Yeah, they're trying to turn. I think their controllers were damaged. They were shot in the back one too many times. Who knows? Anyway, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother despawning those. I know that's kind of against what I said was gonna happen. But we're at 10 seconds to go, and the Wolver, the 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 uh, fabulous enigmas are pretty much cooked. You can see that right now. And there we go. All right. Uh, just to be fair, I'm gonna look at the the points here. Okay, so. The Havoc, 71, 81, 98, 100. Slugs at 92 and 93. There was a couple of Wolverines left, but with these still in play and four other tanks on the enemy team, or on the Corner Cutters team, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough to win. So this fight will go to the Corner Cutters. So congratulations, GXY. Your Corner Cutters are once again triumphant, although they did have a bit of a stiffer fight this time. And they will be continuing on in the primary brackets. And uh, Crazy Ninja 47, my condolences, man. You're going down to the secondary brackets for another try. Better luck next time, man. Thank you both for participating. Thanks to everyone who watches. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment on anything you saw that you liked or noticed or whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.